What is up everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great, and I hope you're all staying safe. Not gonna lie guys, I was gonna make a video on how to play PC VR on your Oculus Quest without a gaming PC, but the service that I wanted to use for that took my credit card once, and then I realized that that was pre-order, and then I put it in again, and it doesn't want to take it, so... Mysticalstore.com so instead, I'm making a video showing you guys tutorials for your Oculus Quest 2 again, because you guys seem to be really enjoying those, and I love showing you guys how to get things on your Quest and get improved. So today, I have a few pretty exciting things. First of all, I want to get some news in. Second of all, I'm going to show you how to get 2D apps working on your Oculus Quest, because that was something you guys wanted to see from yesterday's video, because yesterday I just mentioned it, but didn't show how to do it. And I'm also going to show you how to record gameplay on your Oculus Quest using the microphone because that is also something you guys wanted to see because again I talked about it but didn't show you how to do it. So first things first there has been a lot of news about elite head straps just cracking it's all over reddit and this is kind of the main piece of news I want to get in. I don't fully understand how they could possibly be so fragile from a company that has supposedly tested every single one of these made sure that they were okay and these are supposedly getting broken from normal use which is very concerning and this is pretty much all I wanted to mention. You guys should probably double think getting that elite head strap now with all of these just cracking for no reason whatsoever. Tell me, have you got an elite head strap? Is it comfortable? And does it crack? Because I've actually been hearing news that it's not actually as comfortable as I thought, which is making me rethink that order. Let me know down in the comments section below. Now with that out of the way, let's move straight into the tutorials. So yesterday I mentioned you guys can get APKs and sideload Spotify, Discord, Chrome, any app you would like onto your Oculus Quest and use it. And that is pretty exciting news. So a lot of you rightfully mentioned that downloading APKs from the internet is not okay, as in it they could be virus no matter how reputable the source is. So a good way of downloading and installing APKs would be to download them on your Android phone through the Play Store, download APK Extractor, extract the APK, copy it to your computer, and that way install the APK. However, I'm not really worried about security, so I've just downloaded the APKs onto my computer, just for speed's sake. But if you want to use the APK Extractor method and you do have an Android phone or tablet, it's as simple as downloading APK Extractor, downloading the app you want, going to APK Extractor, selecting the app you want to extract as an APK, connecting your phone to your computer, and copying the extracted APK onto your computer. Very, very simple. Now let's power on our Oculus Quest that we have the APK downloaded. And now launch your favorite sideloading software, whether it's the Oculus Developer Hub that I mentioned yesterday or SideQuest. I'm going to launch SideQuest because I like it. Of course, first making sure you have developer mode on. Developer mode on needs to be on on the Quest. Wow. What did I just say there? <laughs> and if you guys don't know how to turn on developer mode, I'm going to yet again send you to VR Cauldron's video on how to do that right there. For now, let's connect the Oculus Quest to our computer. So, connecting the Oculus Quest to the computer, you will see it is now detected by SideQuest. So now, in SideQuest, you want to go into Install APK from Folder on Computer. Then you want to go into Downloads or wherever you copied that saved file that you copied from your phone, unless you're doing what I'm doing and just downloading them from the internet. Not recommend. <laughs> and you want to select the APK file that you want. So for me, I'm going to install Discord now because I already have Spotify on the headset. So going into running tasks, as you can see, Discord talk, video chat, and hangout with friends. <laughs> Why is that a name? Has now been sideloaded to the Oculus Quest. So now let's move into the Oculus Quest so that I can show you guys exactly how to launch your brand new 2D app. And this goes for everything. If you ever wanted to like, I don't know, install Flappy Bird for some reason and like rage quit hitting a wall, well, you can do it. N not, not recommended though, I wouldn't. <laughs> so jumping straight into the headset, you can actually launch all these apps and use them by just using hand tracking, which is great because that means I don't even need to pick up some controllers. You want to click up here, you want to click unknown sources at the very bottom, and as you can see here you have Spotify, you have Discord, and I have the Oculus Quest settings installed. So I am actually going to launch Spotify just for the meme, and you guys can't see this because Oculus now disallows the recording of unknown sources apps. So I'm gonna grab my brand new camera that I bought just for this sole purpose and stick it into the Oculus Quest so that you guys can see what's happening. So as you guys can see, Spotify is right there showing up in front of the screen. So I'm gonna sign in and uh, we're gonna see how the music works, you know, just uh, jazz out a little bit. Ah, uh, great. Now I'm gonna have the fun of uh, what is my Spotify password? Oh, you must. 
My Spotify password is randomly generated. Hey. Okay. So now let's just launch a podcast because why not? We have a podcast going on the Oculus Quest too. Check this out. New EBT like food stamps and stuff. That is so cool. And it continues playing when the headset is off. <laughs> It continues going. This is Reply All, by the way, in case any of you want to listen to this. That is amazing. That is honestly amazing. Again, same thing with Discord. You just launch Discord and uh, it asks you to sign in and you have Discord just like you would on your Android device. So pretty, pretty cool. So there you go. There's Discord. Unfortunately, um, I think I mentioned this yesterday. However, if I didn't, I'm sorry. There is currently no way of running these apps in the background, which is unfortunate. I am working on a way. I am trying to find a way to make them continue working in the background while you, for example, have an app open because I love listening to Spotify while I have an app running while I'm playing a game. So I'd normally just have an earbud in one ear to listen to it. However, I'm working on a way to get Spotify running in the background, which would be really, really cool. And I personally think Oculus should have added this feature long ago because a lot of people love listening to their music while they're playing their games and also discord come on discord discord make it happen contact oculus make this happen give us discord on the oculus quest 2 that would be truly amazing however for now you can just call people through discord and uh, sometimes when you install 2d apps there's permissions missing so you will need that settings apk side loaded i will have a link to that down in the description and once you side load that settings app you can go into apps in that settings app and give all the apps the permissions they want so in case you're stuck for permissions all you do is you open up that settings for quest 2 app find apps inside that settings app select the app that you want to give permissions click into permissions and select the permissions you want to give it and you should be perfectly good to go from there so there you go that is how to side load 2d apps on your oculus quest now let's move on to the fun part recording your gameplay by using your computer. Now, this gets a little bit complicated for some odd reason, because I told you guys yesterday to use Oculus Developer Hub, and Oculus Developer Hub is great. However, it doesn't seem to allow you to maximize whatever you're looking at while you're playing. And SideQuest, for some reason, doesn't allow you to connect to ADB through Wi-Fi on your Oculus Quest 2. Why this is, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be working for me. So what I do is I do it like this. I grab Oculus Developer Hub, I launch it, and then in Oculus Developer Hub, my quest shows up, I go into my device, and then in my device, I click ADB over Wi-Fi, which will allow me to do the ADB over Wi-Fi. And now the quest is connected through ADB over Wi-Fi, but it's not only connected in Oculus Developer Hub. As you can see, the cable is completely disconnected, and it is also showing up right here in SideQuest. So now in SideQuest, I can click stream from your headset, and change your crop settings to the following. Now, these were suggested by a Reddit user and he says they work great. So I'm going to click start stream and now you can see it's in full screen. And if I put on my headset, you can see right there, I'm now streaming in full screen, the Oculus Quest straight onto my computer. Wirelessly, no cables attached. And now you can launch your favorite recording software on your computer, whether it's OBS or whatever you use. So I have OBS running, as you can see right here. And you can connect a wireless microphone to your Oculus Quest. For example, the mod mic right here. So if I were to connect to the mod mic, normally with the mod mic, you get magnets. However, I've already used up all those magnets. Again, I need to contact them for more. It would, uh, you could snap it onto the side of your headset, whether it's here, here, bend the mod mic so that you can speak to it because it is completely wireless and select your mod mic within mic slash aux right here under properties and select the mod mic. So there you go. Pretty, pretty simple. A lot of you wanted this tutorial. However, a lot of you wanted to know exactly how to select the settings and how to record. So I decided to make this tutorial for you. Also showing you guys how to install those beloved 2D apps on your Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2, because this actually does work on the Oculus Quest 1 as well. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, this video isn't exactly what it was supposed to be to begin with, because the other video would have been much more exciting. However, I just need to find a way to get stuff up and running. But this video was also super exciting and hopefully super helpful. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, shape or form, we now have a store, mysticalstore.com.
I bought the domain. I bought the domain for the meme. I did it, guys. On the store, we have brand new merch, like these amazing t-shirts and hoodies with quotes on the back. And I've kind of cropped them to look like a rectangle. I think it looks pretty cool that only this community will get. It's quotes from the channel that we have said and we have done and memes you guys have created along the way. So I think that's pretty cool. If you guys want to join the club, if you're not yet part of this lovely community we have, we have a Discord down in the description below. We also have a Reddit down in the description below where I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes. And if you guys want to be notified about future content, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.